The first question is from Suleiman Sheikh, a businessman from London, UK. I'm looking forward for the launch of your new platform, Al Hidaya. Can I say that Al Hidaya is the halal version of Netflix? Brother Suleiman Sheikh from London now the question that can he say that Al Hidaya is the halal version of Netflix? It would not be wrong to call Al Hidaya the halal version of Netflix, but rather it should be besides halal, it should be the mustahab platform, alhamdulillah. And I spoke two sessions before regarding the Al Hidaya platform. If you compare it with Netflix, and we all of us know that majority, almost all the programs on Netflix, they are haram. They are not in lines with the teachings of Quran and Sahih Hadith. There may be one or two Allah Alam programs or few programs which may come in the halal category, Allah Alam, but almost all we know are haram. Whereas the platform we are going to launch Al Hidayah, it is halal. Not only is it halal, halal is of four types. It can be fard, it can be mustab, it can be mobile, it can be makru. This I would put it in the mustahab category, that is encouraged category. Not only is it halal, it will get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Netflix primarily is an entertainment platform. It may have very few programs on education. Whereas Al Hidayah, it is a spiritual edutainment platform. Mainly it will be talking about religion and also a lot of education. It will also include entertainment. The tagline of Netflix is unlimited movies, talk shows and more. The tagline of Al Hidayah is the guidance for humanity. So that is the difference. One is unlimited movies, talk shows and more. Ours is guidance for humanity and inshallah guidance to salvation. It is more on the deen, also talking about dunya, also talking about education, and it will also contain entertainment. And normally, what do you mean by the word entertainment? Entertainment is something you like and you love. So if you enjoy it, that's called entertainment. For every individual, the entertainment may differ. So to see to it that to make our platform Al Hidayah also entertaining, besides adding the spiritual aspects and the educational aspects, we are involving the entertainment aspects and making it halal. Normally when we find that if there is a good quality, it is glamorous, it has all the elements to attract a person, it becomes entertaining. Compared to that, Alhamdulillah, if you compare Netflix, it has high quality recording and inshallah, Al Hidayah also will have high quality recording. Netflix has film cameras, 4K, 8K, Similarly, Al Hidayah, the later programs, all the programs recorded after December 2015 are recorded in 4K and 8K and even 6K, Alhamdulillah. And the difference is that Netflix, it started as a DVD rental in 1997, then got converted into a platform and then had many movies. So most of the movies, what they have, they take copyrights and it's not their own. It is mainly other productions. Later on, lately, since the last few years or more than 10 years, they started producing their own programs and now they're producing their own programs also. Whereas the Al Hidayah platform, majority, almost all, more than 95% programs are produced by us, except for programs of Sheikh Ahmed Didad, may Allah grant him Jannah, including Dr. Isra Ahmed. Both of them, they are stalwarts. They're one of the best speakers available in the English language and the Urdu language because they no longer are there. We have recorded few of the programs of Dr. Isar Ahmed, quite a few. But since they no longer are there, we have used the old programs, even though it's of low quality, we upgraded it and it's there for the audience to watch. So except for these two speakers, the programs are recorded by us on high quality cameras. Like Netflix, if you see the older movies that are very old, you may have of low quality. Similarly, our programs of Sheikh Dizad and Isar Ahmed may be a little bit low quality. But everything after December 2015 is on film cameras, cinematographic cameras, 4K, 6K and 8K. Between November 2011 and December 2015, it's on high quality HD cameras. 
and before that it was on Digibeta. If you compare, as I said, the entertainment means something which is attractive, and the first conference that we did, the Peace Conference, the Solution for Humanity, in 2007, it was my desire to use the best of technology when we look at the Grammy Awards, the Oscar Award in Hollywood, in Bollywood, the way they have the stage set up with professional design sets, good lighting, etc. Though most of it is haram, but technology is not haram. So we use this technology and we presented the Islamic aspect so that it becomes entertaining also. And that's why I said, that ours is a spiritual edutainment platform. So most of the programs are on specially designed sets with intelligent lighting, with huge stage, mashallah. If it's a public program with large audiences, with multi cameras ranging from four cameras to up to 37 cameras. So that's the reason it has the entertainment element also. In Netflix, you have movies and TV shows and some others. In Al Hidayah, if you look at the categories, we have got debates, we have got public lectures, we have got group discussions, we have got workshops, we have got interviews, we have got TV talks, we have got TV shows, we have public question answer sessions, we have live question answer sessions, we have children programs, we have Tarawi, and the list is long, Alhamdulillah. In the genre or subjects, on Netflix, you have mainly movies, as I said. It is action movies, or thriller movies, or romance, or comedy. In our subjects, we have comparative religion. We have lectures and programs on Quran, on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet, on wives of the Prophet, on Hajj, on Tawheed, on Zakah, on Ramzan, on Fiqh, and the list is long. If you compare with the navigation system that is there on the Netflix, what we have done, we have used a mixture of the navigation system, completely of the Netflix we have got, as well as the YouTube. So you can navigate the programs according to the categories, that is, if you Press debates, you get all the debates coming on the screen. Or when you start, you have got the roles. First are the recommended videos, then maybe the latest videos, then would be the categories of the videos, debates, public lectures, group discussions, TV talks, interviews, etc. Then you have the subjects, Quran, Seerah of the Prophet, Sahabas, Hajj, Ramzan, Fiqh, etc. And then you have the most watched of the programs. In these categories or subjects, if you click the category debates, all debates will come. If you click lectures, all the lectures will appear. If you click group discussion, all group discussion will appear. So in this way, it's easy to choose and navigate. Besides this, we have also used the navigation system of the YouTube. YouTube has a different system. It says sorting. In the YouTube, we have most popular and the oldest and the latest. We have, besides the most popular, we have the recommended, we have the earliest programs, we have the latest programs, we have got more options as compared to YouTube and it can be sorted that way. You can even sort it in very different ways. So it's a mixture of the navigation and search of the Netflix and the YouTube. And I feel it will be much more easier. Netflix is basically only video on demand. So what we are comparing now is video on demand of the Netflix and video on demand of the Al Hidayah platform. But in Al Hidayah, besides video on demand, there is also another section which is the Islamic courses. And this is not available on Netflix. It is not on YouTube. It is a different system altogether. Rather, it's an LMS a learning management system. And as I mentioned earlier, our full al platform has got two sections. One is Dr. Zakir Naik and the other is other speakers. In my section, mainly my program would be, and along with it, the bonus would be the programs of my son, Farik, and the programs of Islamic International School. 
So basically, Dr. Zakir next section would be only my programs, my son's programs, that is Sheikh Farik, and Islamic International School. In the other speakers, though we have more than 75 speakers, we have selected the best 40 speakers. It is the largest platform to have so many numbers of authentic speakers on one platform, more than 40. And from the 40 speakers that will be there, not counting me, more than 25 of the speakers would have courses. In the courses, again, the navigation system is the same. It can be category wise, it can be subject wise, and the variety is there. This is not there on the Netflix. Furthermore, when you go on the courses, if you go to Dr. Zakir Naik section, in the courses, it has five different materials. Number one, it is the video program of that course. Number two, it has a study guide, which helps you maybe after watching the video, when you go through it, it's a recap and it may be a summary or the bullet points, the major points of the course. Number three, it also contains the complete transcript of my course, complete transcript verbatim. So when you're watching the course, there are two screens that open below if you want. The option is yours. Only watch the video or you can watch it in the next screen which has the study guide. You can do simultaneously or later on. And below the study guide, it is the transcript. So you can read the transcript completely if you want. Simultaneously later on, the option is yours. Besides this, there is additional course material. In this additional course material, you have posts which are very well designed graphically designed, which contain bullet points of the course. So these posts are very attractive. They are graphically presented and give a good impact. All these things are the additional material that is there. Besides the additional material, the last is the assessment. In the assessment, there are three types of assessments. There is multiple choice questions. There's true and false. Match the following. In these three types of assessments, there are three levels of assessment. One is for the beginners, the second is for the intermediary, the third is for the advanced. So the three levels, beginners, intermediary, and advanced. Depending upon which level you belong to, you can answer the multiple choice questions or true and false or match the following. In the other speakers, basically there are three types of course material. One is the video, second is a study guide and third is the assessment. So this platform of LMS learning management system is not there on the Netflix. Therefore, I would say that you rather say it's not only a halal version of Netflix, it's much more. It is mustahab, it's entertainment and it will get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inshallah it will guide the humanity towards Jannah. Hope in brief this is a summary of the difference between the Netflix and the halal version that is Al-Hidayah, the guidance for humanity.